Hey, what's up? It's Izzy here with I Do The Most, and I'm back with the Shining Force Nuzlocke playthrough. In the last episode, we arrived here in the Kingdom of Prompt, and the people here are the supposed descendants of the gods. But come to find out, they're not as intelligent of life forms as, as we might have figured. But anyway, we made our way to the castle, and we are now tasked with going out to find two of their people named Aleph and Tarasu who are battling, battling against Dark Soul and his forces. We got uh, a great recommendation from our brother Kane, which we found out they were tending to him in the castle. If you missed out on everything that happened in the last episode, feel free to go back and check it out and then come back to this video to see where we're going from here. Tower of the Ancients is ahead. Dark Souls performing the Rite of the Dragon. Dark Souls is a fearsome enemy. Be very careful. And we found Aleph's card. So we found Tarasu's card in the last episode. And now we found Aleph's. Destroy all enemies. Get to the tower. Clear bonus. Win within 8 turns to receive 9,000 gold coins. I wish that they would start giving us more usable things. Um, let's see. So this is mountains and forest area. Let's see. Um, Lyo isn't going to be much help, but Zylo can. Alright, so I'll pull Ken out for the time being and I'll add Zylo back to the party. And I'll keep Vancar in as well. Start battle. Yep. Max, look to the east. That is the Tower of the Ancients. Then, Dark Soul is. I'm worried for the safety of those two sages from Prompt, Aleph and Tarasu. We should avoid unnecessary battles and hurry to our goal. Max, if need be, you can press ahead to, to the tower by yourself. Max, I'll be right behind you, ready to heal. Alright, let's try to get you pushed ahead as far as possible. Elude the soul and freeze. I thought that he might have learned either boost or attack or something. So we got some new enemies, the Jets. Um, right here. Should I use step or attack? Uh, I'll use step. Because all this mountain area and forest land is going to make it hard for us to move. And we got eight turns to get our bonus. Which I'm pretty sure we can make. But it helps to have that that extra movement. Got a wyvern there. Where exactly is our goal? Are we... That must be where we're going. The way the, uh, the layout is, it seems like we would just be going right. how far Guns has moved. Yeah, that's going to be clutch on this board. Alright, Chris. It's time for you to start learning your, your high-level spells soon. I think Chris gets to learn um, Aura. Should be good, especially uh, late game. Alright, I'm going to copy Domingo so I can push more like ahead as well. I find it to be a lot more effective to use that early on rather than giving other people an extra turn. 
Because he doesn't move very far. And he's slower than pretty much everybody. Um, let's see what your stats are. Because I, we, we, we did promote him. His defense is 22. Question marks. Question marks. Uh, I'll have him come in as a sweeper. I'm not going to go straight into offense. Because I, I, I don't. I don't want no stupid shit to happen. Freeze two. To hit all three of them. Because freeze three only targets one. Okay, so the Jets are immune to spells. And Bilal have high magic defense. Looks like so does Dullahan. Attack increased by three. Hit point increased by one. Magic point increased by four. One shot. My girl Diane with her new weapon showing off. The thing about how I play this game is I think a lot faster than I talk. So sometimes I'll like read a, a bunch of it while I'm thinking about a bunch of other things and that's why I like I'll delay what I'm saying without even noticing it though until it happens. That lightsaber is beast. Attack increased by one, defense increased by three, HP increased by three. Oh man. Alright, so I did use. Okay, I can't use that. I think I can use Step. Who was that? Vancar? Yeah, he'll, he'll definitely need that. It only gives him plus two to his movement, but every little bit helps. Because I'm pretty sure their movement gets cut by like half or more in these areas. Gunt seemed to be the least affected by it, though. I'll say that. Alright. Ogre Slayer. What does what is that effective against? Against giant type enemies. So, I'm going to assume that this is considered an ogre. 14 points. It don't look like that was ogre damage. Maybe that's more for like the, uh, what are they called? Those, uh, those rock people. I'm not, I forgot. I, I'm drawing a blank right now to what they're called in this game. Eleven points of damage. Can I attack this stupid thing? Cause I know it has magic. There we go. Good shit, Gort. I'm gonna start making sure that I use move on Chris. So that she's not just behind just healing nothing. Alright, um, I'll give blue an extra move, I might make an imitation of Narsha, or give her an extra turn, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that yet, see how much damage y'all doing, nothing, whack him. Level up, defense plus three, speed plus one. My boy's not playing about his defenses. Neither is Luke. Counter attack, good shit. Fuck out of here. Attack plus one, hit point plus four.
All right, let's see if Blue can take him out. One point of damage. See, that's scary. I'm gonna pull him back. See, this this is why I waited to promote him, honestly, because I wasn't sure how he was gonna. He was doing good though before promotion, so his, his level ups better be fucking broken. Cause I feel cheated now. All right. Uh, hit them with a freeze too. That jet will be immune to the magic damage. I think all robots in the game are. Yeah, we're definitely getting to the point that their their magic defense is actually a factor. Can we take them out? Good shit, Diane. With a super. I see you. Level up, level up. A hey, speed plus four. I'll take it. See if I can take this guy out. You got the Xylo. Mm. Level up. Defense plus one. Speed plus one. HP plus five. I feel like they're all going straight for max. I mean, which is fine, but... It's also kind of like, you know, fuck up out of here. Defense increased by one, HP plus one, magic point plus three. Okay. What is y'all health? 28. I'm not going to play hero. I'll stay right here. Yeah, <laughs> my boy got a double strike. I see you, Guns. I'm surprised that they're not... They're not going on the offense. I did share those rings around. This one has... Uh, it lets you use Blaze, too. But if you equip them, then you get cursed. And cursed on this is kind of like confusion in Pokemon where But it's it's worse. Cause like you have a chance to hit yourself. You have a chance, I think, in this version to attack your own people. And there's also a chance that they won't do anything. But for the power trade-off, I don't think it's worth it. But I will use it as a way for Luke to be able to use Blaze too. Alright. Well, shirt, you got four hit points left. Let's hit this guy with the heat axe. Poor Chris. I think what I'm going to do with Moloch is make a copy of Narsha and use move on Chris. That did absolutely nothing. Make an imitation. Five points of dead. How, 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 what the shit? How'd you put him to sleep? Out of all things. Let me see. What's Jet's defense? 32. And Blue's attack right now is 31. So that isn't going to do anything to him. What about uh, Doolahan? What's your defense? 32. 
And you? 30. It's one point of damage still. 30. Alright. Fuck it. Try to get experience where I can. I'm gonna have to save. I'm gonna have to have blue target their low level enemies and their mages for the time being. At least until I can get them level. Yo! Oh my fucking goodness, you gotta be kidding me. Yo! Well, we're back to no flyers. <sighs> My goodness, I was planning on making blue like a mainstay as well. Oh, yeah, you pissed Diane off with that. I know Domingo isn't very offensively gifted, but these damn machines are resistant to physical, I meant to magic attacks. Can I use my light sword? No targets within range. Okay. It doesn't matter. I got backup right here. You're not gonna fucking take her out. That was some bullshit, y'all. I'm really pissed off about that. One shot on a counter. Attack increased by three, defense increased by four. This nigga hit me with an ice breath. Okay. That's fine. You're, you're not one shot in her if that's what you were thinking. Let's check these things out because they haven't had the chance to attack again yet. And I know they can put out good damage if they, if they hit their special attacks. Which they're basically like many uh, laser eyes. They're like mobile ones. Defense increased by five. Yeah, I'm really upset by that. Yeah, and in saying that, I'm not going to put Chris in harm's way. I mean, she does have all those defense buffs, so she'd be able to take it from, from the rings that she has equipped. Attack increased by 1, HP increased by 2, magic point increased by 1, and plus 4% magic resistance. Look at that. Look at that. Two of those would have fucking took my man out. can't tell you how upsetting that is every time I start taking time to focus on one of my players that shit fucking happens I forgot something let me see I did give Vanguard the power wine to increase his attack yo and blue would have been clutch coming up too. I don't like stupid shit happening, so I'm gonna heal. I got plenty of people there to take him out, but I don't want him to attack and then maybe get a second strike or have one of the other enemies move in on her. 
Hey, I can freeze three you though, because you aren't resistant to magic. Or immune to it, rather. So, Xylo finally decided to get off his ass. See, man. I should have literally just kept him unpromoted. Because he was eating hits, doing good damage, had good health and everything before he was promoted. It was like all that shit got cut in, in half. Alright, get the fuck out of here. We should have been done that, Mar Marsha. That took way longer than it should have. Alright. And he was left with 1 HP. That would have been perfect for my boy Blue. Alright. Whatever. Take the torch eye out. It's too late in the game for losses. I'm just gonna say that. Like, by like little fucking battles like this that are like aren't even important to the plot is just little in between battles attack plus four defense plus three speed plus one hp plus one take your nine thousand gold coins back I, I don't even care this took longer than i thought we've got to hurry that's what i was thinking couldn't use the evil ring because it was immune to magic all right um where you at man all right so i'm gonna call that an episode we'll go on to the tower of the ancients after this and see what's going on See if we can find Tarasu and Aleph. But if you're still rocking with me at this point in the playthrough and you are enjoying the journey as well, I ask that you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, we do challenge videos on RPGs. Right now, we're focusing on Shining Force with the Nuzlocke rules of Pokemon. You lose a party member like Blue. We can't use them for the rest of the playthrough. And... In addition to that, we also have Pokemon Shiny Gold Sigma. Uh, we're now lacking that as well, which is, it seems to be an updated version of the updated version of Pokemon uh, Gold from second gen. But with all that being said, I'm going to head out. You have yourself a good day. Peace.